Hey, it's Matt from Light Bicycle, and this is how you calculate your spoke lengths. When properly building a high quality wheel, you're gonna to need to determine your spoke lengths. You'll need first to know your rim's ERD, which stands for effective rim diameter. All of our rim ERDs are listed on the website under each product page in the rim specs section. It's important to note that the ERDs listed do not take into consideration the nipple head dimensions. We're gonna talk about that a bit later. Spokes typically have 19 threads over nine millimeters. This means that two millimeters in either direction is gonna be a big deal when building your wheel. You wanna make sure that you get the right length. If the spoke is too long, it might bottom out the nipple. And if the spoke is too short, it might not have enough engagement and will therefore shear off. Most factory spokes come in two millimeter increments. This means you might not be able to get the ideal length for your wheel set. If your local bike shop has a cutting and re-threading machine, this is ideal. This means you can resize spokes to fit different wheel sets if you maybe didn't order the right size. One of our most common spokes we use is the Supreme D-Lite spoke. These spokes do not have a bottom barrel underneath the threads, and that means they can't be re-threaded. D-Lite spokes can also bottom out on the nipple, so rounding up, if you have the option, is probably the best with the D-Lite. Some spokes that are thinner in the middle can tend to be a little bit more elastic. For these, you wanna take that elasticity into consideration when choosing your length. You might wanna go a little bit shorter to account for the stretch. If you're building on an asymmetric rim, the spokes on the high tension side can be rounded up. When building on DT Swiss hubs, we recommend using the DT calculator located on their website. If you're building on any other hubs, we generally use the Pro Wheel Builder calculator. It works really good for the most part, but you just wanna double check your hub specs as we have run into errors. So we typically use Supreme double square nipples, or if we need to, we'll have standard head nipples. They don't really affect the ERD. The only difference is the tool that you're gonna be able to put on the top of them, and that's gonna look different. The ideal location for the spoke is gonna be the same between these two nipples, and that's gonna be where the nipple is its thickest. You want the spoke end to be right around the top of there. You wanna make sure that when punching in our ERDs on the online spoke calculators, you add three mil. That accounts for one and a half mil on the top and on the bottom of the rim. On the DT Swiss calculator, choose any standard 12 millimeter nipple since we've already entered the adjusted ERD. If you happen to be building with a rim that doesn't have an ERD listed online, you can measure it yourself. The spokes we generally use to measure the ERD are straight pull spokes, but if you don't have these handy or you're building with J-Bend, you can also use those as well. They're just a little trickier to measure with a caliper. The way we do that is by screwing a spoke on each end of a nipple, threading it through opposite sides, and then you can take the measurement of the difference in length with a caliper. When you're measuring the ERD yourself, um, you want to know how long the spokes are that you're using. This way you can take the distance of those two spokes combined, overlap them on opposite sides of the rim, measure the distance that they're overlapping, subtract that from the distance of the two spokes combined, and that's going to give you your ERD. Each of these spokes is 300 millimeters, so when you put them through opposite holes on the rim and line them up like this, you can get a caliper so for this rim, you would take 600 minus 12, and that's gonna give you the ERD. It's important to take this from multiple spots along the rim, just because the inside of the rim might have imperfections and be a little thicker in certain spots. Once you're confident of your ERD, simply plug that number into an online spoke calculator, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.